The race at Monza produced one of the unlikeliest podiums ever, with the punter reportedly winning €33,398 on a bet worth 20 cents by correctly predicting this result. The podium consisting of Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly, McLaren's Carlos Sainz and Racing Point's Lance Stroll has been lauded by many as one of the most exciting in a long time, and it came off the back of some really unique circumstances. One of these happened to be the red flag which essentially gave Lance Stroll a free pit stop. One man who is not too happy about all this is McLaren's Lando Norris, who just missed out on a podium, and he has now let his displeasure be known. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Stupid Rule Gifted Stroll Lucky Podium. It all began during the post-race radio communications with his team. I think we just got fucked over a bit with the red flag and Stroll getting the new tyres. Bit of a shit rule in my opinion, but it is what it is. In the post-race interviews, Norris would add to that. He started off by explaining how he couldn't have done any more. I was very happy with what I did. I don't think I could have done any more. I kept the Mercedes behind for the whole second stint and they qualified one second ahead of us. He then went over how the red flag led to benefits for some. I got no chance really to get past Stroll unless he makes a massive mistake, which he didn't do. So I think I did the best job I could today. As a team, we did the best we could. We just got screwed over a little bit with the red flag and people benefiting. He further elaborated on how Stroll got a free pit stop. It could have been a better result if we didn't have that red flag because I think we could have been ahead of Gasly and we could have been ahead of Stroll especially because he didn't have to do a pit stop, he just got a free tyre change. He then criticised the rule that allowed Stroll to change tyres under the red flag conditions without having to pit again. It's a bit of a stupid rule and we just lost out because of that. Gasly also benefited from the red flag and would go on to win the race, but Norris explained why that wasn't as unfair as Lance Stroll getting on the podium. Some people like Pierre Gasly, who obviously drove very well at the same time, but he boxed before and he came out ahead and that's the way it is. I think that's more fair, but for someone who doesn't have to do a pit stop, it's kind of too much of a benefit, let's say. I guess I'm a bit annoyed with that because I had a chance to be on the podium for us as a team with Carlos. Fast feed. Honda F1 Managing Director Masashi Yamamoto is still very grateful to Toro Rosso who would become Alpha Tauri for believing in Honda's potential in 2018 as, at that time, Honda was a racehorse without speed and prone to injury. He further added that he has no doubt that Honda was rescued by Toro Rosso slash Alpha Tauri. It hasn't been an easy road, but the relationship between them is more than just a team and an engine supplier, and that it's mutual love. He also revealed that of the four drivers in the Red Bull family, they have been working with Pierre the longest. The relationship started during the Japanese Super Formula in 2017. He also feels that Pierre Gasly has a very smart and open personality. Former F1 driver turned commentator Martin Brundle pointed out that only Ferrari had a worse day than Red Bull at Monza. He further elaborated on how Max Verstappen had a poor start and dropped out in lap 30 with technical gremlins, and Alex Albon ended up being 15 of 16 runners, while still having to soak up Gasly, the man he replaced, winning the race. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has explained that if you create a power mode for the whole race, the drivers don't have that extra to overtake, that makes it more difficult. He also added that this applies to the big teams as well as the small teams, that's probably why you saw fewer overtaking actions. Former F1 driver Nick Heidfeld thinks that Pierre Gasly won sensationally at Monza. He also finds it especially interesting when you consider that he was no match for Verstappen at Red Bull last year and was transferred back to Alpha Tauri. This, he feels, shows that he can drive, but it also shows how difficult for him it was at Red Bull next to a top driver like Max Verstappen. Simon Roberts, who has worked at McLaren and Force India in the past, has been named as the acting team principal for Williams during this transitional period. Meanwhile, Michael Driscoll will be stepping down from his current role as the CEO of Williams Grand Prix Engineering. Pirelli boss Mario Isola thinks that as with any new venture, Magello represents a bit of an unknown for most of the drivers and an entirely clean sheet of paper when it comes to strategy. Renault's Daniel Ricciardo feels that being faster than Mercedes was surprising during the Italian Grand Prix. And he further explained how Mercedes' Valtteri Bottas wasn't very fast for Mercedes' terms as he expected him to come back, but that didn't happen. Should changing tyres under a red flag be banned? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.